Okay, the um, point of this post is to have a look at the deep water culture system uh, running at this sustainable house. So this is the um, heart of the deep water culture system and this is our fish tank. So as you can see what we have is we have an inlet over here. We have three inlets. These, this one and this one here are both from the uh, gravel grow beds and this one that's running constantly is from our deep water culture so we'll go look at the other end of that in a moment so the water flows into the tank and then it flows down to the bottom and using this device here which is called a slow SLO this actually um, uh, lifts the water from the very bottom of the tank up and across into the sump um, bit of a mess I haven't actually built the lid for that one so a lid like this haven't built that lid for that one yet but um, but that goes into the sump now the way this is designed is this doesn't actually have any fish in it at the moment um, some more fish are coming very shortly in January so the plan is is that um, when the fish are in here and this did run trout very nicely for several months but when the fish are in here we'll have adult fish growing out in here which will be for consumption and then in the sump we will put juvenile fish uh, to start to grow out so that when all these guys are all eaten we can then um, move juvenile fish into here and put fresh juveniles in there so you get the idea so basically what happens is the water flows in from the deep water culture bed into the, into the fish tank it gets lifted up from the bottom up through the slow it flows over into the sump and I won't bother uncovering that at the moment but there's a pump in the sump that pumps up and pumps out over near this device here which I'll come back to on another post and pumps out and along um, this green tubing here and over to our uh, deep water culture bed so what I might do is I might just hit, hit pause here and we'll go over to the deep water culture bed okay so here we are at the deep water culture bed it's a little empty at the moment because I've just cleaned it out and uh, restarted it basically I had some um, phenomenal growth and I had some mint um, broke the first uh, aqu aquaponics rule of growing mint in an aquaponics system and um, one little mint plant just went berserk and ended up having to completely um, sort of pull out everything at this end to um, to clean it out so anyway as I was sort of coming up from the fish tank which is sort of down across the mess over there the water from the fish tank comes up uh, this tubing and it comes into this filter here now this filter there we are. This filter has a couple of different components. Um, the majority of the water actually runs down through the gravel and comes back up um, through a manifold up here and along this tube and then down into the tank. A small amount of water does come across the top and so it actually, actually gives like a skimming function as well as breaking the siphon. Before I put this in what would happen is this tank would fill up siphon would get started here and then the tank would fully drain um, problem with that was that the, the siphon which was great because I don't mind it flooding and draining like that the problem was that the siphon didn't reliably start because air would get caught in this section of pipe here so I've got to work on fixing that particular problem so air doesn't get caught in the system in which case we'll go to a flood and drain system but this is basically acting as a filter and it's got um, I don't know 180 litres of gravel in there and as the water flows through the, the tank it, and it comes back up what it's doing is it's filtering out the worst of the solids the water then flows into the deep water culture bed and as you can see this is a big long bed it's um, five meters long and a meter wide and you can see I've put a series of holes in there I haven't put any on the end here because the um, I want to use a different pattern on the end maybe a lot, slightly larger pot but also because of summer, high summer at the moment, these end bits really get hammered by the sun. So by keeping everything back under here, it um, gives them the protection. You can see that they're actually under the eaves. So in this bed, we have these holes and we have these net pots, which are just hydroponic net pots. And what they do is they actually sit in just like that. And our plants grow in a perlite and vermiculite mix. Now this guy just went in today and you can see there that um, he's got a little bit of root coming out he literally only went in today but if we go down to this end this fellow here was put into this system um, one maybe two days ago and you can see that the root growth is really phenomenal um, you can actually see roots already starting to grow out of the mix that's only after a couple of days plants such as lettuce and um, some of the herbs a little basil plant down there and some little chives uh, really love 
this sort of system. And um, lettuce will grow out in, um, well, they should grow out in about six, six or seven weeks. So if I lift one of these panels here, you can see underneath, and I'll just carefully lift that panel out of the way. So what you can see is we've got basically we've got a um, timber uh, bed and we've uh, lined it with um, pond material, so plastic, and the water flows in through here. And you can see we've got a little bit of solids on the bottom there, and it's it's reasonably deep. It's about um, 40 well about 30 centimeters deep, 30 40 centimeters deep, and basically the plant roots just grow out through those pots and they just grow out into the water and they hang in the water and as the water flows down and it flows down through from that end down to a standpipe here and that standpipe is actually setting the level of the water and then out through this piping at the bottom and back to the um, fish tank that we saw earlier what it actually does is as the water flows through this system the plant roots growing out into the water extract uh, the nitrates and nitrites to a limited degree from the water, cleaning the water for return to the fish. So it's a truly um, symbiotic system where uh, the fish produce wastes, um, mostly you know uh, ammonias. The ammonia is converted by a particular bacteria into nitrite, and then another bacteria takes the nitrite and converts it to nitrate. The plants feed off the nitrate, you can see these, and grow off the nitrate in the water. And what water they don't actually directly use for their growth goes back down and back to the fish tank clean and ready for the fish to, to dirty again. So it's a terrific little system um, and uh, is, a, is a good way of dealing with the problems that we have with aquaculture, both being um, uh, the, the waste of water in aquaculture and also the waste of water in hydroponics. This sort of gets around both of them. It gives us the benefits of both. So in another video we'll go and look at the um, uh, gravel grow bed system, but for now this is the deep water culture system uh, at this sustainable house.